Maybe the most famous piece of papyrus in world history. This is the Book of the Dead, also known as the Last Judgment of Hugh Nefer. Hugh Nefer is this man in the white robe, a scribe, being taken by Anubis to have his soul, his heart, weighed against a feather. And you can see here, he is successfully entered into the afterlife. So this is uh, from the Egyptian New Kingdom. And one of the reasons it's so important is it shows us the belief of the ancient Egyptian kind of afterlife, what happens to them after dead, after they're dead, the afterworld and where they go. Um, Amit is the crocodile-headed lion who will devour your soul if you're found to be heavier than a feather. But we do see here that his soul, his heart, is lighter than a feather. It means he's good enough. He's been declared worthy. And the jackal-headed god Anubis, carrying the ankh right there, the symbol of life, leads him like a comic book strip. So you can see he, Hugh Nefer passes here, past Thoth, who records his deeds in the Book of, uh, in the book of the Dead, led uh, to Osiris, as he has been vindicated and shown to be worthy. And you can see so much of the hieroglyphics here. You can see Egyptian art moving forward. And we can see a really uh, kind of intimate look around kind of the 1280, 1280 BC. Uh, a really incredible look at what it means to be Egyptian, what they were concerned about, what they were scared of, what really concerned them. Interestingly, uh, this may have been the scribe who actually wrote the papyrus himself. Maybe he was optimistically looking and hoping for his own uh, successful trial in the afterworld. He didn't want to have his heart eaten by Amit, the lion, hippo, and crocodile. Uh, he wanted to pass into the afterlife.